did you have kind of a hero or an idol in sprinting at all? So for not for like, not for role model necessarily. It's yeah. for role model. It's always been, it's always been my mom and my dad. Yeah. Uh, and, and then honestly, my, my siblings, uh, anyone in my inner circle, if I'm being completely honest, but for technique, Anthony Irvin was my, mm -hmm. my guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought he had just the most beautiful strokes. And I swear, I stand by this. Mm -hmm. If he trained for the two free, I think he could have had one of the most beautiful, beautiful strokes for a 200 free. Cause it's 50 stroke. It's everything is just driving so forward, but it's with a high, like a high elbow in a way he doesn't, mm -hmm. Tony doesn't straight arm. I think it's one of the most beautiful strokes and it got, I mean, it got him two gold medals. So clearly mm -hmm. it was, it was working, but yeah, Tony was the first guy. I think I really started to obsess over stroke technique with, um, that was the first one that, that drew me into, yeah. okay, this is a, like, once I got to the age of like understanding technique and really starting to pick it apart. But yeah, I'd say Tony, uh, I've, of course, underwater watching Michael and Lofty. Um, and then for, I don't know if I really had anyone for butterfly. It was usually just Tony for freestyle. And then I would steal ideas from him and steal ideas underwater from Michael and Ryan. Um, there's nothing wrong with stealing. I think it's the mm. best thing ever. You, you steal it and make it your own. You don't, you don't use technique. You steal it, you make it your own and figure out what works for you. It's funny that you say that because Tony was one of my competitors, but also one of, one of the guys that I studied, but, um, but also one of the guys where, where I realized the more I looked at him and the more I studied him, the more I realized I just couldn't do what he did. I mean, he's so damn good. <laughs> I mean, it's just the way that he, the way that he put his hand in the water, it's so hard to, to, to explain this to people that don't understand swimming very well, but there are certain people that can put their hand in the water and it's, it, it belongs like the water says, thank you. And it holds on, you know, and um, you're definitely one of those yeah. guys too, but he was so frustrating because he was just so good. And like you said, so technically perfect. I'd look at it and be like, wow. I mean, how does he do that? I couldn't even do the action that he did yeah. with his arms. Yeah. And I would, I'd always try and place it the way he placed it. And I just couldn't, I was like, yeah. it's not going to happen, you know? So yeah. Any, any still photo taken of him racing, it's just, it's all the same. Yeah. It's all just, it's all just beautiful. His arm, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Arms is yep. right here yep. every mm -hmm. time. It's so consistent. Right and yeah, it's probably the most frustrating part was he's, he was not like he was big. It's not like he was yep. built. He's just kind of a string bean that was just raw and oh, people couldn't beat him. Yeah. Ah, I freaking love Tony. Frustrating. Great man. guy. Also. <laughs>